let's wrap up with a little fun. Okay. We're going to uh, play, a good. That, play a game that we like to call Subjective, Hardly Interesting Trivia. Okay. All right. Which advertising lingo word is more annoying and overused, big data or signature? I'll go with Synergy, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> They're both overused. I mean, big data is like, it's nonstop. It's all, you know, it's like, it, though it is super important, I just, every single thing that has to do with anything is big data. Right. Right? <laughs> anything that has a number on it or it comes in volume. Yeah. We, we wrote a uh, Future of Relationships um, piece that went out yesterday. It was covered by Fast Company, and, and like in it, we talked about just the big data of sex, like how you quantify your, your sex life. And even when I'm saying that, I'm like, seriously? And I'm like, <laughs> like, wow, I, I already like, I, I've even taken, taken like big data into the bedroom, you know? Like, <laughs> oh man, I'm probably not going to score well. The bigger the data, the better. The, ah, the, data, yes. the better, you know? Size does matter and when it comes to data. Miley Cyrus, embarrassing teen star or brilliant marketer? A brilliant marketer, I love it. Ah, yeah, I thought that was right up your alley. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. Twerking, just as an example, we have been talking about forever, right? Really? It's like, I, I think since we started the company, we've been, you know, uh, and, and clearly she made it a moment, right? But what was so beautiful is that it was it was twerking at the VMAs, it was, you know, the, the wrecking ball, and then the memes that came from it, and she's just done one thing after another. Yeah, she you can it. You can love her, you can hate her, you can think her music's great, you can think it's horrible, but it's from a, a marketing standpoint, it's a powerhouse. You know, ah. it's like incredible. Today's show, they wake up, they're talking about it the next day, and then yeah. somebody said, do you think it's this or that? And they said, it doesn't matter, we're doesn't talking matter. about it. Like, from a <laughs> PR standpoint, and, and you know, and, and those are the kind of things, if you think about like something that you might want to jump onto, yeah. it's definitely relevant for certain brands. I mean, you know, we, most of the brands that we have, it probably wouldn't have been a good play, but there were a couple that we have that we did go back and talk about, is there something you do with the wrecking ball or are there ways to, you know, there's just little thematic things that she brought to life, you know, and she, she, and she was, yeah. she continues. Smart. Yeah. Amazon introduces drone home delivery. What will be the first crime perpetrated against an Amazon drone? Oh, against the drone. Gosh. I, I think someone will steal the drone and turn it into a, a drug delivery service. <laughs> So I think you'll I think you'll have your pot delivered directly you to your <laughs> to your to your front porch. You know, it's like it's like so Amazon it comes in, I take the drone, I, I hack it, and then and then I have it deliver weed. <laughs> Amazon high. Oh, yeah, man. It, it, it always it, yeah, exactly. Which campaign is the smarter dumb campaign? Kmart ship my pants hmm. or KFC I ate the bones. I'll go with ship my pants, mostly because I like to say it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you see this is just them adding okay, them, yeah, like, yeah. like that, that then they had then they had a second one that did yes. pretty decent and then like they this week they had the one that was the two people shopping and it was, I think it was for layaway or something but it was a, a gif of them like uh -huh. did you see that one no no yeah so it's gotten a lot of backlash because um, number one they said it's just it's just too much trying to co-op culture but and then and then they're like uh, gif versus gif and so you've seen all kinds of uh, <laughs> people like debating like whether it just it just is more out of sync than in sync with culture wow so, so but they, they they have something that's at least creating buzz because anytime they're doing something now it automatically pops up in our it's bridge disruptive and yeah. they're, they're getting recognized so you you know it's, it's kind of like the anchorman stuff like like they they've they've pushed that movie, pushed it, pushed it, pushed it, pushed it, pushed it. And then like in the last few weeks, it's starting to get a little backlash. But the question is, do you get people that wouldn't have seen the movie because you've been in so many places, you know? And, and if they, I, I think the answer is all in how well it does at the box office. So I think we'll yeah. wait and see. But it's I think getting it's a good backlash. Point, though. I think you're right. People. I think there was a point of diminishing returns where you've just pushed it too far. Yeah. We just started seeing that though recently. In the beginning, it was really cool. Then it was like, this is a brilliant marketing. Then it was like, that's kind of bizarre. Again. Then it's kind of like, Really? <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> come on, man. Well, Terry, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Well, how about a, a quick tour? Yeah, let's do it.